Well guys, it's 2024, you know what they say, new year, new me, new motor, new build. Except this isn't my motor, but we're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop for another amazing shop build. Um, this motor belongs to Mike. You guys know Mike, the owner, so we'll, we'll spin the camera around in a few minutes. Um, but this 135, I've never seen a 135 in person. Thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to show you guys. Um, and then go over some ideas of what's gonna be going on with the new shop build here, um, which we are gonna get on camera, we're gonna film it. All right, so 135. A, I, I have a few questions for you. Okay. What made you go with the 135 when there was other options out there? Besides that SNS 132, well, what's the biggest one that SNS makes now? Um, SNS just came out with a 136. The 136. Kit. Oh crap! Okay. Um, so what, what made you go with with the 135 from from Harley then? Um, I wanted to do something different. So we do a lot of builds for clients. We do Revolution Performance. We do SNS, um, but nobody's done a crate motor. You know, just a drop in crate motor. Um, it's just something I wanted to do. There is a couple of little differences too. Um, the, as you know, the uh, 135 crate motor comes with the new four and five eighths crank that Harley has, uh, actually in this here, um, where the 114 that's currently in my bike has got the four and a half. So, it, I don't know, it's what I, something I wanted to do. Is, now, we're, we're gonna, Suppose, I don't know what the numbers are. I mean, you've done videos. What's the numbers? Do you know what they are? Uh, At the 135? What they advertise. I think I saw somewhere uh, around 140 torque to the rear wheel, somewhere around there. Um, we are going to open this motor up. Go ahead. And we're going to make some changes. Um, going to be pulling the 517 cam that comes with it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be going with a star racing uh, three-quarter race cam. In, nice. this, in this motor the supposedly the screaming eagle pump and plate are really good right now and i'm not going to change it i was going to ask you are you going to be changing that out or nope not? i'm going to leave it in there um, so you just got to put in the cam i'm going to put the cam in there um i have to measure the push rods that are in here to see if i can go with a set of solids or if i go with a set of adjustables um <clears throat> we're going to do the fueling uh, head breathers Inside. What, what are you gonna do with the? Uh, okay, good. Um, what are you gonna do with with the uh, manifold, the throttle body, and all that stuff? It actually comes with a paired sixty-eight millimeter manifold and throttle body, and six-point-eight injectors. Nice. So we're gonna run as much as Harley stuff as we can. I mean, the motor comes very complete. I mean, it's the motor comes wet. I mean, it's got spark plugs in it. It's got uh, ACRs in it. it. Everything's in it. Yeah, I mean, so I, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you that. So, what, what for anyone that's out there in the market and they do want to buy this motor, um, what are some of the benefits of maybe getting this over getting something from SNS or Revolution? Or? This motor is a drop-in, so there is no disassembly. We can take your motor out of your bike in half a day mm -hmm. and start laying this one in. It's completely dropping. It's you know you don't have you don't have to pull anything apart. You know if you're using your motor, you're taking everything apart all the way down right. to the bait. You know just to your crank, or I'm sorry, your cases, and you're building it back up at that point. So there's a lot of labor involved. I mean yes, you can get you know other good parts, but you know having a drop-in ready motor is is, is pretty it's nice for sure. Um, I, I like I like all the details too. I like the fact that it has that 135 badge, which people die for for, for these badges. I don't, I don't know what it is about the numbers badges, but they 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 go crazy when they see stuff like that. But even the the 131 on top of here, the screaming eagle, um, a raven. You said 131. Is that? You said 131. I did 135. Say 135. God damn it. Um, the screaming eagle uh, engraves. Yeah. On the other side, it, it looks, you know, it, it looks pretty cool. Um, now, price point, what, what, what is this going to cost somebody out the, or what did this so, cost you? So, talk about it. This motor goes for seventy nine ninety nine. 
Now, what you don't know and what they don't tell you is Harley is required to sell you their EPA compliant header with this bike, with this bike uh, motor. Okay. Um, that I believe goes for somewhere close to a thousand dollars on top. It has to be on the invoice. They can't, there's no way around it. Okay. So I and it, EPA stuff. It's you know, yeah. It is what it is. But it's just an extra. It's extra money. Unfortunately, I have the pipe here. We're trying to sell it on eBay. And you're not going to use it. <laughs> no, we're trying to sell it on eBay for like two hundred bucks. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use it, but you do. It is. It, it's something they don't tell you, right? If you read all the fine print mm -hmm. on the website, it tells you that you need to buy the header and you need to buy an oil cooler fan. Okay. Did you get the cooler fan as well? I did not. Okay. Because what I'm going to get is the, I'll probably get the Thundermax fan that goes on the back of the cooler. Okay. It's got a nice draw. It's got it, it, a lot of CFM behind it. Uh, but that's not a requirement. Only the header is a requirement. You can't walk out of the store without the header. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So. Cool stuff. So your bike is what, 22? Yeah, 22 Rogue Glide Special. And right now it's safe to say that his bike is a, a, a music bike. That's that's the build that you had towards it, right? I mean, it has a bunch of speakers on the lids. Uh, yeah, I'm you, you obviously want, want want to take that bike into a different direction. I know we're just sitting right here going over ideas of which way to take it. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what you wanted to shout. What do you want to talk about? That's for now. But. Well, right now we, uh, like you said, my bike is a 2022 Rogue Glide Special. Um, I'm running two sound digital amps. I'm running about 2,800 watts of audio with. Uh, you know, 10 inch mid bass drivers in the bags. I've got twisted eight lids with Which big sounds speakers. amazing. The bike, really I mean, the ground shakes, but yeah. the stereo could probably propel the bike faster than the 114 does. Mm -hmm. That's in it right now. <laughs> so I, I'm going to, the bike's got apes on it. I mean, it's got chiseled apes. It's, we're going to make some changes. I think that bike's going to transform into more into the performance bagger scene. Okay. That's one thought. Or the other thought is, do I keep all that in there and throw a big ass motor in and make this like a music slash sleeper? <laughs> you know, the, you there's know. There, there, there's just like I was saying, there was a lot of ideas of us sitting down and talking about which direction the bike could go and yeah. looking at different parts and it's uh it's it's it's, it's gonna be a a, a pretty fun build. Um, um, but but yeah, what, what what we are want to do for you guys is, is actually get uh get Mike installing the whole crate motor into the bike whenever that time comes. Um, so that it is going to be on camera for you guys on video. It's um, going to be a little time. I mean, I'm starting to research some of the parts, mm -hmm. and I'm getting back order. I mean, I've I've already heard about one part that I want for the motor. I definitely want that. It's got a 60 day lead time at this point. Oh wow. So it's it's gonna be some the time. world we live in. We yeah. need to just wait for stuff. Um, I mean, awesome, pretty cool. It's, it's a 135. I haven't seen one in person. I haven't seen. It's very rare when you see stuff like this. Cool stuff. Massive motor from Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle Performance, man. It's 135. Anything else? No, I guess you're just gonna have to wait and see what I what. what if anybody's got any ideas. Yeah, should have open. If you guys are in the local area, if you want to stop by, get some work done on your bike, hit up Mike. I'm going to be linking up all the description down below. Um, we still got some stuff to add on to my bike, which I, we haven't brought my bike in here for a little while. Um, but it is a new year, so more planning and more parts are coming. So tune in for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. And if not, then whatever. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the horse with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.